Okay, so this is going to be a short tutorial on how to get the modded Panto and the modded Hot Knife. So this is a very easy glitch that dates back to about PS3. Now I'm doing this because not a lot of people know about it, so I'm just going to get straight into the video and show you. Just make sure you do all the customizations that you want in your car first, and then drive into LS Customs. I recommend you do it in LS Customs because in the Arena Workshop it doesn't work as much as it does in any LS Customs. Okay, so once you're here, there's two ones that you're going to need to do, which is bodywork. Buy the sticker bomb fenders and keep switching from sticker bomb fenders to none. You have to keep spamming it so you do it fast and keep doing it until you land back on none. Now, it takes a while to do this for some people, but like you could get it first try depending on what you do. And as you can see, I just got it here. You want to press purchase none when you see the invisible part here. And that'll stay permanent. Now from here, as you can see, all the side parts are invisible. You want to go down to roof. Now we're going to do basically the same thing for roof, but you want to buy sticker bomb roof and tailgate and you want to keep switching from that to the stock roof. Now you're going to need to keep doing that until you get this. Okay, I think this one is easier than the other one in my opinion to like get the invisible part. As you can see, I just got it there. And that is enough for the Panto customizations. That is both the invisible parts that you're going to need. If you go into a garage, they'll stay the same, they won't change or anything, they'll stay like this permanent, you don't need to keep doing this every time you load into a session, they'll be invisible for as long as you keep it like this. So this next one is going to be for the hot knife, this is actually going to get rid of the side parts on the vehicle, because sometimes people don't like the side parts in this vehicle, this one is actually pretty useful. And so this is going to be very similar, apart from you want to go on to bodywork. Now this one is very easy. Cause there's only two ones here you won't need to keep like switching between and not worrying about having to hit the middle one and just failing so just keep spamming downwards until you hit on none as you can see these two parts here will disappear on the side of your car now i personally think it looks better like this but if you want to change the hood you're going to need to do it again so i'm going to put on a stock hood here and i'm going to repeat the glitch again until they disappear okay so make sure you put it back on cycle fenders first and then you're going to need to go on none and as you can see, I've just hit it first time again. Now you can do this wherever you want, just customize it to however you want it. And as you can see, these are two very easy glitches you can do right now in GT Online. As I said, they've been here since PS3, so it's not likely that they're going to get patched anytime soon. So just go ahead and show this to your friends, like this cool trick. Now the final car in this video is actually the Rat Truck. And this one's a pretty simple one, but this is, in my opinion, probably the best version of the rat truck because it just gets rid of the back part and now no one likes the back part on this vehicle and I can understand why so in order to get rid of it you need to go all the way down to near transmission where it says truck bed now from here you just have to go on it and you need to make sure that you buy any one of those that is in the stock one as you can see all of the back options on this isn't really like good compared to what I'm about to show you here and just keep spamming down and you've got to try and land it onto stock truck bed and as you can see it's all invisible there all you can see is the suspension at the bottom now i've just done it first try i've just hit the stock truck bed and now it's permanently invisible now i'm going to back out velis customs and all you're going to see here is the suspension going up and down at the bottom now this makes it look the best version of the right truck as you can see the suspension is just moving at the bottom don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.